One of the famous writers has said, a mind once trenched into by a new idea never regains its original dimensions. This proved to be an absolute truth with his engineering graduate who was a genuine reason for an incredible transformation in the world of electric automobiles with the introduction of electric two-wheelers. In his educational career, he sustained his image as a topper in academics as well as extracurricular activities. He always outwitted his counterpart using intelligence and logics. It all started with the colossal challenge which was triggered at Mr. Anil Anantakrishna by Mr. C.B. Shah who was a sole distributor of Hero Cycles and a close friend of Anil's father, Mr. Anantha Krishna. In 1970s, when Mr. Shah had come for a casual talk, which soon led to an intelligent debate on oil crisis, which had recently thumped the world. Shah, did you read that oil crisis article in the newspaper? I think your business is going to boom, yaar. The history of riding bicycles will repeat. <laughs> Mr. Anil listened to the conversation, which created curiosity in him, and he joined them. Knowing Anil's capability, Mr. Shah shot a challenge. Anil, being an engineering student, even you may find the solution for this. Come on, Anil, accept this challenge. I don't force you to do any job which will give the security and the income. Just follow your heart and try to do something different which will have your creative urge and will have the value in the society. The debate and the challenge had started its impact in Anil's mind. Anil began imagining the future of Earth which has reached an unbelievable condition due to the oil crisis and pollution. When he was engrossed in giving his dreams a new dimension, he was supported by Michael Bertrand of France, Honeywell of USA, and Bosch of Germany with motor technology for his electric two-wheelers. This helped Anil materialize Vidyut. At the age of 23, Anil had built the first electric bicycle. He also built six electric cars with aircraft wheels for his friend all in his backyard without any professional help. In Shakti Bazaar, a prime property at Commercial Street, one of the most prominent places of Bangalore today as his R&D area and in association with MEC and Amco Batteries, Anil built variety of electric vehicles, bicycles, mopeds and three-wheelers for the handicap. Having designed an electric Maruti van, Anil moved west to promote Vidyut. Anil also developed electric minivans for China Motor Corporation for postal services. Later, Yugo GV, a Yugoslavian company, agreed to supply cars without their engines to Anil. This endeavor led to Surya Car. Anil gifted Sri Satya Sai Baba an innovative vehicle as a token of love. In 1988, Anil co-founded World Electric Vehicle Association in Toronto. Anil collaborated with companies of Germany, Yugoslavia, France, Taiwan, Netherlands and Romania for incorporating his power pack designs on their vehicles. With CCA in France, he produced a batch of pushpa electric convertible cars the first electric tractors 
and vegetable oil engine car based on the Elsbeth engine. We also introduced Solar Mofa to the German Polish driving training school. In 2004, Anil realized it was time for commercialization of electric vehicles in India. The Indian government was also ready to support the venture. Today, nearly 15,000 eco vehicles are on the road within a negligible time span of 5 months. As a housewife, I am using eco vehicle from past 2-3 years. I am more happy and it's very cool vehicle. In 2007, Eco Vehicles tied up with Ultra Motors and Hero for authorized selling of Velocity, earlier known as Cosmic One. A national success, Eco Vehicle is type approved by the Department of Transport in India. Almost every product that we have designed in the company and offered to the market is a fashionable product which meets not only European requirements, American requirements and also the Indian market requirements. The product as a definition has got beautiful body stylings and it has power pack technologies incorporated with respect to motor, battery, controller, etc., which gives definition of what he needs in terms of driving style and driving comfort. With the green signal in USA and with CE approval, Eco is ready to be launched internationally. Globally, oil is indeed a dangerous commodity. In terms of the rising prices, it can create havoc with uh, developing countries like India. Eco Premium, the latest product from Eco, will meet the metrics of customer needs which promises to run at a speed of 80 to 100 km per hour on a single charge. You know, we just started uh, with the line saying that, you know, uh, Eco Vehicle, just charge and go. We also used a line which uh, no petrol needed any day. Eco vehicles, just charge and go. Especially a city like Bangalore, which has more than a million and a half two wheelers necessitates the government's intervention in promoting battery-operated vehicles. If one looks at the Chinese uh, battery-operated vehicle market where more than a 10 million vehicles ride every year, India will definitely grow with about 5 million vehicles per year in the next 5 years. Anil was declared as one of the inventors of the year by the government of Karnataka for the invention of Vidyut. Anil has also won various awards for his exceptional contribution to the society. He has also got various patents to his personal profile. Anil has been an innovator and pioneer in the battery operated vehicles market. Internationally, he is renowned for his work in the sphere of electric vehicles. Eco vehicle, it's super. I started my showroom in the year of 2004. We are uh, really happy to implement this kind of concept to Indian people, Indian society. The future of transport is with pocket friendly, pure electric vehicles. I foresee, therefore, that the Indian market is similarly ripe and ready to receive an alternate source of transport to begin with is to introduce first a small electric two-wheeler. As we build the structures of service 
rapid charging, replacement of batteries and component manufacture for manufacture of the whole vehicle in India, we will build a three-wheeler which will be a replacement to the auto rickshaw and next build a bus which will be a replacement to the public transport requirement. The World Environment Agencies and the World Health Organization are very much involved in promoting alternate sources of transport that is electric vehicles. Being Anil, a founder, an innovator in this electric category, I'm sure he can take this brand to the globe. In my dream to establish EV City in India, in Bangalore, along with my global associates in energy conversion devices or OONIC, who are the inventors of the nickel metal hydride technology and theanine batteries of China, companies like Samsung, companies like Trek, companies like Toshiba, I invite them all to participate who have been associated with me on several ways to establish the EV city in Bangalore, India. I see the potential to establish joint ventures with companies which are large MNCs involved in battery technology, motor technology, controller technology, charger technology, jointly with the intellectual properties of myself and my company in establishing India as the technology center for alternate sources of transport. Mr. Anil Anantakrishna says, it's not me, it's not you, it's the we attitude which can make the difference. But this is just the beginning, miles to go before sleep.